New today at five, electric vehicles. Seems like they're looking more and more attractive, especially considering the price of gas. But is an EV right for you? 12 on your side's Marilyn Morris has information that might help you decide. Now that it's costing 50 bucks to gas up the average tank, could a plug-in be your next car? Yes, because gas is way too expensive now. In a recent Consumer Report survey, more than one-third of people said they would strongly consider buying an electric car. Many of the barriers of going electric are beginning to come down. Battery range is increasing, and there are more models now. But some people have reservations. With traveling, it's just getting to where I gotta go and back without having to charge up my car. I just don't think I'm ready for it yet. Where and when to charge is a concern. This one is located right outside a department store. Right now in Texas, there are more than 2,000 public charging stations. Money is another barrier. People point to purchase price and the cost of repairs. But compared to the typical lifespan of a gas car, Consumer Reports found EVs usually cost less to operate. EVs have fewer moving parts and fluids that need to be changed. Even the brakes tend to last longer. Plus, the cost of powering the car is less, especially with elevated gas prices. And now mainstream automakers are creating lower priced models like the Hyundai Kona, Nissan Leaf and the Chevy Bolt. It starts at less than 27,000. And some electric vehicles are eligible for a $7,500 federal tax credit and a $2,500 state rebate. But not all EVs qualify, so check before you buy. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.